my wife and I both really enjoy coffee, so I decided to make her a coffee grinder out of some Indian rosewood and purple heart. Right now I'm just taking the turning blank of rosewood and making it nice and square so it's easier to get more accurate measurements off of and just easier to work with. The purple heart is going to be an accent wood, which once I get to the glue up, that'll make more sense. The purple heart was thicker than I wanted it to be, so I just drew a rough line and then resawed it on the bandsaw and I'll plane that down smooth. I also needed some thinner rosewood stock, so I did some resawing of the rosewood so that way I would have some pieces to sandwich the purple heart with and also just to make the drawer section thinner. And then I did some scraping just to smooth out some of the bandsaw marks. Here I'm just laying out where I'm going to cut the drawer out of so that way it fits well but I still have plenty of material left to have the thick wall that'll still be plenty strong. This was one of the trickiest glue ups that I've done so far. I had five different pieces going together. Probably would have been easier if I'd done this in sections but I was in a little bit of a hurry to get it done so I went ahead and tried to get it all done at once which turned out well. I used salt in the glue because that provides a little bit of friction and it doesn't affect the strength of the glue joint so that way your pieces don't slide around while you're trying to set them and, and get them clamped up and it turned out just fine. With the glue up complete, it was time to shape the box. So I used some shims to take up for the bandsaw kerf to wedge the drawer in place, then marked a rough circle so that way it'd be easier to turn. That way I'd start from a rough circle instead of a square on the lathe. And I sunk a screw in to hold the drawer in place. I pre-drilled and did a lot to try to prevent the screw from breaking, but it ended up breaking on me anyways. But I was able to work around that okay. There was enough of that broken screw left to hold the drawer in place, so I used that hole to mount this up with my screw chuck to turn a recess in order to chuck it up inside the recess with the four jaws. This is the top of the box where the grinder mechanism is going to go. So I'm using a parting tool to cut out the hole that the copy grinds will fall through. In the same time that's freeing the top of wood that the broken screw is through so I can remove that wood and then with some locking pliers is able to back the screw out and free the box so I could work on it. Of course the drawer needs a recess in order to catch and hold the coffee grinds, so I just chucked up my largest forstner bit to rough it out. 
So I didn't realize that my camera battery died yesterday, so I ended up doing a bunch of stuff off camera inadvertently. A few of the things I did was on the main bowl vessel, whatever you want to call it, um, there was just some really bad grain on the, the side where it wasn't coming out well from the tool, so I ended up taking some epoxy, mixing it with some of the really fine sawdust, and just sort of filling that in. There was also a couple small voids that I went ahead and filled with that epoxy too, so that way once I finish turning, that's nice and smooth. Also my drawer that's gonna fit in here from where the bandsaw kerf was, um, there was just a, a huge gap and I didn't want this, to, I don't want the drawer to rattle around inside the box, so I took a, a small piece and glued it on, so I'm gonna sand that down so it'll fit. Then I also just glued up some small blocks to make knobs with, because I wanna put a knob on the front of the drawer and also the handle that goes on top of the grinder mechanism gonna turn it off for that. So let's get back to it. My oscillating belt sander was perfect for shaping that shim down to a, a point where I could get it to fit perfectly snug inside the box. And then I just used some 220 sandpaper by hand in order to rough off the epoxy before I could put in the lathe. Of course I had to secure the drawer again, so I drilled a hole and tapped a nail in, but this was right in the place where a screw was going to go to hold the mechanism in place. Then I went back to the lathe to do a bunch of sanding and to rebuff and polish it in order to bring that shim perfectly true with the box. And then it was time to move on to the knobs for the drawer and the crank. And my youngest decided he needed some daddy time, so I brought him out and I like to let him help with things that it's safe for him to help me with, like sanding and buffing and mounting up the chuck and whatnot. To get the little knob to fit perfectly on the drawer, I used some flexible 3M sandpaper and just gently sanded it to the right shape and then used some 5 minute epoxy with sawdust mixed in to glue it in place. And then I went through a series of files and used a razor blade and some sandpaper to get the transition as good as I could. goodbye ugly knob and I just had to cut the tip off the shaft so that way I could drill a hole and then glue my new knob out of rosewood that matches the bowl onto that shaft so that way the entire assembly would match the Forstner bit didn't give me a very good hole so I just used my trim router in order to smooth this up and just get a better better looking shape and then I used a v-bit and my big router to sort of route it a ramp out of the front for pouring the coffee grinds out of the drawer. For finishing, I used about eight coats of spray shellac, and that seems to be working really well. To secure the grinding mechanism to the box, I drilled some holes and then tapped them so that way I wouldn't have to use any nuts on the bolts and this Indian Rosewood and Purple Heart are both plenty dense enough that they hold the threads really well, so there's no strength issue. 